Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to encrypt and decrypt using Delphi. Uh, in the previous video uh, I did show you how to use the ORD and the CHR functions and that is exactly what we are going to use to do our encryption. Okay, so I already designed the GUI and I have an encrypt and a decrypt button. So the user is going to enter some text in the edit box when he clicks on the encrypt button he's going to encrypt the text for us and when he clicks on decrypt he's going to change it back to the original text okay, so let's have a look at the decrypt okay so with decrypt i take the word that the user enters and i put it into the variable s word okay so i'm going to build up a new word over here so i'm going to make a uh, declare already declared it variable s enc for encrypt making it empty then i'm say going to start um, at one the first character and i'm going to run through that whole word okay so i'm going to run from the first character to the last character and i'm going to take each and every character and i'm going to use the ord function to convert that to my ascii value okay then I'm gonna take that current ASCII value plus one. So it's only gonna move to one character next to it in the alphabet. So it's not a very complicated uh, encryption. It's actually very simple encryption. But I also need to take whatever um, is in the S E N C variable as well. So at the moment there's nothing. So nothing plus the first character moved to the next one let's say the first character is a is going to move it to character b convert it from an ascii value back to a character and then add it to my variable okay so when i reach the last character is going to display it it's going to jump out of the for loop and then i'm going to display it in my label.caption i think another easy way to display it is actually using a show message okay so the word is Jim so it's ASCII value 106 105 109 okay let's show message the actual character uh, as it's built up show message let's say or oh, rather rather let's show oops let's show the whole word okay so it's gonna start off with nothing because at when we start off there's nothing in s e and c okay the second time is going to be k because k is next to the j then it's going to say j because j is next to i and the last one is not going to display but it's n so it's going to build up a new encrypted word okay so when i click on decrypt when I click on decrypt, I want to do the exact same thing, but I'm again going to get to ASCII value, but this time I'm going to minus one. So I'm going to move one character back and I'm going to build up a new word again, but the new word will be the original word. Because I'm, I'm going to take the ASCII value minus one. So if it's going to be a B, it's going to move it back to A. Remember, you must use the same encryption and decryption techniques to actually run or to decrypt your text. I'm not sure what this encryption is actually called, but I know it's not a very complicated one. Hey, Jim. For example, if you use the word apple, the two P's 
will every time be Q because Q is next to B in the alphabet and B is next to A in the alphabet so if you have a lot of text in here to work with it should be quite easy to decrypt using uh, this method so it's not a very complicated encryption method okay in a future video I will show you one that's a bit more complicated and a little bit more harder to crack